Well, so some are going to fault him for those mistakes. You know, the, the pick six that kind of gave the momentum, and yet in the overtime, when it looked like you were dead to rights, he's the one that gets it done. Well, that's. Uh, uh, I would have to imagine. You know, I remember when I went to do his home visit, and you see the quality of people, the best friend, uh, family, and so close to him. Excuse me, and uh, his family. You see the way that kid's raised. He's like a tough guy, man. That just does things right, and usually people who do things right get rewarded. Far right to the right, uh, Coach JT really is. Uh, his confidence is getting better and better each game. And how pleased are you with that? First of all, in this environment, as you mentioned, one of the toughest ones you can play in. And uh, down in overtime, he comes back and uh, ties the game, and ultimately uh, wins the game. Well, the confidence got a little rattled there in the second quarter. Uh, and then obviously the third quarter, nobody was rallying, it was a big six. And that kind of environment got left. You know, to say he was walking around like a extremely confident quarterback in the third quarter, that wasn't the case. But once again, just the way this kid's raised, and, uh, uh, I just have so much admiration for people like that. I, just, I can imagine the way he was raised, just to see the way he was performed. I remember seeing him and Tom Herman talking about it when we went down to see him in Wichita Falls, Texas. But he, he wasn't overly confident for a quarter, but I'll tell you, at the end of the game, he'll make a play. He did it for us. Far left.